I'm Gloria, and today we'll be talking about how to breathe on the flute. Well, first of all, let's introduce the flute to you. The flute has three parts, and the first part is the mouthpiece. It's where you blow in the air to make the sound. The second piece is where you rest almost all of your fingers. It has many keys. The third part has all the remaining keys. They are controlled by the right hand pinky. But today, we'll be focusing on the first part, which is the mouthpiece. Remember, it's where you blow in the air to make the sound. Well, how do you blow in the air? Do you blow it in like this? Nope, that does not make a sound. But do you blow it in like a whistle? not work. Well, you blow it in like this. <coughs> to make sure that you're blowing it in right, you can use a very helpful tool. It looks like the flute mouthpiece, but it has this black stripe with four little bands on it. If you blow in too high, like this, this fan will turn, which means, no, no, your air is going way up. And if you blow too low, It's another no-no, since your ear is going way down. So these little fans, the ones in the middle, are where you want to be. Like this. These two fans mean that you are blowing it correctly. Now that we have found out the right positioning of our mouths on the flute, let's figure out which breathing we should use. Let's try normal breathing. The sound did come out, but it was very tiring. You can't get enough air. So, we use a special type of breathing called belly breathing. Normal breathing looks like this. Breathe in. Breathe out. But belly breathing is actually the opposite of that. Since it looks like this. Breathe in. Breathe out. If you breathe in, your belly gets bigger. And if you breathe out, your belly gets smaller. Look, this is what the flute looks like when it's completely built. To end today's video, I'll play you a piece which uses belly breathing. <laughs> 